What was the race against time to save people who were trapped in a burning building in Los Angeles? And helicopter searchlights were there providing light throughout all that smoke. And firefighters found a husband and wife who were trapped there by the flames. Mm. Kana Whitworth has their story. I had a bad heart problem. I thought I, I wasn't going to make it. Ricardo Molino and his wife Vivian were trapped in smoke and fire. I had to open all the windows because we were suffocating. They called 911. Officials say 170 firefighters from 30 different companies responded to the blaze. With their ladders stretched to the limit, they rescued the Molinos and safely put the fire out. Los Angeles Deputy Fire Chief Philip Flegel spoke with ABC's Brandy Hitt about the rescue. If they would have stayed up there, they, they, they didn't uh, escape, yes, it could have been very detrimental to them, yeah. Because the building was constructed in 1963, it had no automatic fire sprinklers. It wasn't the law back then. In fact, according to the Office of the State Fire Marshal, sprinklers weren't required in any California residences until 1979. Even without sprinklers, the fire was out in an hour and 20 minutes. Seeing that heroism firsthand left one young man wondering about his future career choice. That makes me want to change my mind of being a firefighter. Today, firefighters are escorting business owners inside the building to gather their belongings. And you can still see damage. This is along Olympic Boulevard. The cause of this fire remains under investigation. One firefighter did have to go to the hospital, but was treated and released. In Los Angeles, Kana Whitworth, ABC News.